Guess what? Guess what? Guess what, guys? So, how's everybody doing? Um, so, this video is going to be me trying to troubleshoot this issue I'm having with my car. Um, it's 6 o'clock at night. I've been running around the whole entire day. Car's been working fine. I will say that this this month, um, I've had a couple instances where I had to try to start a couple of times before my car cranked over. But today, um, today I am stuck, stuck. Uh, I am stuck at Walgreens parking lot I went to grab something the car was working really good the whole entire day no issues none of that and got into my car try to turn it on no crank all the all the, all the lights in the dash on um blow motor works radio works everything works can't get the car to crank over And I'm not quite sure what the issue is. Um, so about 15 minutes ago, I did try to get somebody to jump my car. I thought it might have been like a battery issue. I mean, I haven't changed my battery for like um, I had my you know my battery is about about like three and a half four years old. So I thought maybe it was a dead battery. You know, um, so I put some cables to it, try to crank it, nothing, just click, click. So it was one click, you could hear like a faint click. And it really sucks because at this point, my assumption is, is that it is the starter that is causing it not to crank over. So I'm sure that my battery is not the problem, even though I need to change it. Battery's four years old, but um, it lasted through the winter. Not a problem, you know. Um, but uh, you know, putting the cables to it and trying to start it, I even if it was kind of weak. I mean, the car was a smaller car that that I think it was like a Nissan Sentra try to jump it um had the cables on for about a minute i mean if it was if it was the battery that was low whatever and uh that you know that centro wasn't charging this car you know wasn't i mean, wasn't getting like a 100 percent um capacity as far as the, the bad electricity to start the star is concerned um i should be able to just hear like a slow crank like like it wants to crank but it doesn't it won't go all the way through but I didn't even hear any any of that it was like click click so it's not the battery it's not the battery and besides I actually did test the lights the lights work pretty good the headlights work pretty good the beams work the dash lights work um, my blow motor works the the um, the radio works so so I Think, I don't think it's the fuse. I mean, possibly could be a fuse that's blown, but or a relay. But here's the thing: I don't think it was the fuse or the relay because I'm hearing a click coming from the solenoid. I don't think that's causing it, unfortunately. I mean, it would be great if if it was a fuse or relay. I could just go and buy a fuse or relay, pop it in, get my car to start. But I don't think that's the case. Um, and besides, I had this issue for the last month. Like, like um, I think like twice I've had this issue this month where I had to try to start the car a couple of times before it would crank over. It would be like it would, it would be like dead, like it is now, like click. Click, but I was able to start or start it after a certain number of tries. But this time I'm like here and I've tried like 10, 15 times. 10, 15 times. And I tried like at least five times with the cables on. Like nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. 
And uh, the thing about this starter is I just had the starter changed like eight months ago. I mean, just eight months ago I had the starter changed. So I don't... kind of sucks. I had the starter changed like eight months ago. It was working fine up to about a month ago. And uh, I really don't... I mean, that, that starter I got from like you know, one of these auto parts places. I think it was AutoZone or whatever. And... Uh, Man, uh, you know, it's warrantied for about a year, I think, but I maybe it's a lifetime warranty. I don't know, but um, that's not the issue. That the issue that I'm having is I mean, I don't want to take the time out to put the starter, take the starter out, put the starter in, or even pay somebody to do it. I mean, yeah, it's warranty. I could go in and get another one, but I mean, what I don't, what's the point? And uh, I've actually never had really good luck with like rebuilt stuff even brand new stuff I mean like the original OEM ones I mean I might just go and get on eBay and just get one of these original OEM starters and, and pop it in but man that sucks I'm gonna have to call triple A and have them tow this car I mean it's not it's not the alternate because I'm going through like so many different troubleshooting alternatives as to why this might happen so we've ruled out the battery we've ruled out a fuse because normally if it's a fuse I've had issues where the fuse caused the car not to start and normally what happens is the car will crank but it just won't crank over you know unless there's a fuse for the starter that's blown but I didn't really do anything that would blow it the relay I mean it could be the relay but um if it was the relay that was dead I would not be hearing a click coming because um funny enough I did have somebody try to turn the key try to start out start this when I was out there um and I and I, and I tried to listen to see whether anything was coming from the start or not but I did hear a click coming from from it so um so uh, that 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 situation really 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 this situation really 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 sucks at this point. I really don't have time for this. Uh, I'm glad I have triple A, but I do not want to wait for triple A to come here. They're gonna take like an hour, hour and a half, depending on what their situation is. For us. Yeah, yeah, this is just a really, really bad situation. Um, I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing to say. I really wish that this... Alright, guys. Um, I'm going to keep you guys updated on this. Alright? Because there's nothing I can do at this point. I'm making a video of this, but there's nothing I can do at this point. I'm going to have to wait for the truck to come and uh, see what happens. Alright, guys? Stay tuned. All right, guys. So it's it's the next day, and um, it turned out to be the starter. Uh, I, I was able to put a wire to the to the starter. If you guys don't know how to do it, there's videos of it up on YouTube. Um, you pretty much. I mean, if your starter was good and you kept on doing that, it would actually kill the starter. Right, I think, but I tried it a couple of times, like uh, putting the um, positive line of the battery to to um, the two terminal ports on on the starter, and the starter nothing nothing happened. Normally, it's supposed to just turn. The starter's supposed to turn. You're supposed to hear like a turning sound. It didn't work. It didn't do anything. So it was a starter, and. Um, I really wish I could have gone on eBay, bought a starter, popped it in, but unfortunately, that would take like three or four days at most, week and a half, and I don't have that kind of time. So I actually end up just going back to AutoZone, getting another starter, it's warranted, and um, just crossing my fingers, hoping that the situation doesn't come up. Because um, these starters should last for quite a bit, like over 100,000 miles, 150,000 miles. And it just sucks that if you guys don't know anything about rebuild starters, um, the, what they do is 
I'm amazed that they're able to rebuild these starters to begin with. But what they do is they'll um, they'll take the part that's broken, and that's the part that they actually change up. The rest of the parts that they'll they'll keep the rest of the parts. They'll keep the rest of the parts. They'll they'll so every other part on that starter has whatever monolith that was on the starter, hundred hundred and fifty thousand or whatever. That that that's. That's what's going to be there, except for the part that's broken. The part that's broken is going to be new. So the, the problem with getting these rebuilt starters is you're actually getting a starter that with all the parts that have. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's the case these days. I don't know if they changed the way they did it, do it. But as far as I know, they only replace the part that's broken on the starter. That's all they do. Unfortunately, and the rest of the starter is has the amount of wear that have, has the Im- amount of original wear on it, which kind of sucks. But I had I had no time, so I went out and uh, got another starter, put it in, and the car started up without a problem. So, hundred percent sure it was a starter that was causing it. Uh, what's the issue with it so alright guys so you guys like this video please please give me a thumbs up please um, you know you guys wanna leave a message for me leave a message for me please subscribe alright guys take care